Simple functionality. A German couple loves living in a Bauhaus monument. Well, you'll always do your best if you are passionate about what you're doing for work. And that statement rings true for Walter Gropius as well. He was passionate about his design ideas, which is why the Bauhaus movement he created is still loved today. There are only six privately owned houses built by Walter Gropius, and we visited one for our deluxe episode today that was renovated in keeping with the original plans in Germany. Oh. <laughs> Barbara Happe and Martin Fischer live in an architectural icon. Villa Auerbach, the first residence built using the modular system designed by Bauhaus founder Walter Gropius. Its sleek lines were revolutionary in 1924, and the house is still quite special today. The store is naturally. It's great. My socks are actually sitting in 90-year-old drawers. They're all just the way they were back in 1924. The degree to which the original design has been preserved almost leaves me speechless. But when the couple bought the villa in the eastern German city of Jena in 1999, it had seen better days. They renovated it, paying great attention to detail. It was Barbara Hoppe who discovered the original color concept. According to the construction documents, the concept was planned but never carried out. But I just couldn't believe that because the Auerbachs, the home's original owners, were so progressive that I was sure they'd have done it. If they built a Gropius house, they'd have also given it color. So, like amateurs, we just started to scratch away at the surface and found paint particles. 37 pastel shades came to light. Walter Gropius's first modular house was also a colorful one. It's these colors in particular that make this otherwise strictly minimalist house so attractive to its current owners. This is house. It's a house this house really teaches you about clarity. No knickknacks, no houseplants, nothing. Sorry, but we never had those things. <laughs> so we were well prepared for this house. Adornment free and functional down to the last detail. The owners have changed almost nothing and are still thrilled by some of the home's technical innovations. These are still the original window handles from 1924. They're generally known as Gropius window handles in stainless steel. But in this form, they only exist in this house. And here comes the best part, the windows open outwards. Gropius thought it was dumb that windows open into the interior because that takes up space. And if they had to do it all over, they'd definitely buy the Villa Auerbach once again. I have to say it's a privilege to live in a house like this. Most of them are museums, yet we live here. I don't spend all day every day thinking I live in a cultural monument, but we couldn't have asked for anything better. 